Today I'm resining um, some artwork of mine. I use Counter Culture Artist Resin um, and it's part A, part B. Part A is the resin so it's thick and part B is the uh, uh, hardener. Make sure that you have enough airflow in your room that you're doing this and also wear a respirator while you're doing this. Start with part B, which is the uh, hardener, and it's thinner, thinner than the resin. Um, <clears throat> and then you would add the part A after. Um, it's thicker, so it would sink to the bottom and, and be easier to mix. And you use equal parts of part A and part B. You will mix for about three to four minutes until it is clear. When you're stirring the resin, it is important to scrape the sides every once in a while while you're stirring and scrape off the stir stick. I don't use a wooden stick to stir my resin with because it has air in it and it can cause more air bubbles in your resin. So here I am beginning to um, add the resin to my artwork. I start with uh, running, pouring a bead around the um, outer edge. I don't pour it in the middle just so that it won't pool too much in the middle. Um, and then just move it out to the edge all the way around and then move it to move it in the middle as well. Spread it in the middle. You can use your finger or you can use a, a thin piece of cardboard, stiff cardboard. Anything you want to use, it doesn't really matter as long as you make sure that every little bit is covered. Also, once you've done it, once you've um, moved it all around the canvas, spread it all over, and you're pretty sure you've got the sides, um, then you look you, look, you go down level with the canvas and look to um, a light that you will have on the other side. And that way you'll see if there's any spots that you've missed um, or anything like that. So um, also, the, I don't do all my sides. Like I don't do the full side of the uh, canvas. I add tape around the uh, sides of the canvas and just leave about, I don't know, um, not a quarter inch, maybe a one eighth of an inch um, of the canvas on the edge, just down a bit and add my tape all the way around and just make sure I sp spread the um, resin all the way around. Okay, I've done one, now I'm just doing my other one. The same thing all the way around the edge, spreading it out over the edge just a little bit and then moving it toward the middle. And then checking and make sure I check to see if I missed a spot. So now everything is covered and I'm going to pop some air bubbles. There's always air bubbles in the resin after you finish uh, stirring it. 
So I'm just going over it um, with a heat gun. Uh, I don't want to use a torch just um, in case I burn the resin. It's so easy to burn apparently. This is my first time doing this so I'm being real careful and uh, I'm just above the the canvas and I'm just going over it uh, quickly with the the um, heat gun making sure I don't stop at any point. I just keep it moving. And now I'm doing the other one. Okay, I got all the bubbles popped down, so I am just making sure again that I have covered every little spot on the canvas. Uh, I didn't miss any spots at all. I don't see any air bubbles. I don't see any little flecks of dust. Um, if you do see a little dust a piece on there or if something has fallen on there, you can just take it off with tweezers and the resin will just uh, level out again. This is just another canvas I did off camera. Okay, they are dry. Looks really, really nice. I've got this one here too. Now I have to take the tape off. So, I am going to just warm up the edge with a heat gun. And the tape should come off fairly easy. I warmed up the wrong side, but I'm going to try and get this off here at the edge. <laughs> I don't have long nails, so it's hard to grab the tape. Okay, it looks pretty good. All right, so I'm going to start on this side instead. Luckily on this one, the, um, the resin didn't go over too much, so it should be fairly easy to come off. Yep. And always pull the tape towards you like this, not the other way, in case it rips some of the resin. Okay, I'm going to continue over here. I'm going to get rid of this piece. <clears throat> Here we go. It's all off.
and I like it. I like it like this um, because then it's nice and smooth. You don't have to worry about when the uh, resin falls over the side of about being um, um, uneven or bumpy. So it just gives you a nice clean edge on the canvas and the front is nice and shiny. Which way I like it this way. There we go. So that one's done. I'm going to try the next one. <clears throat> um, that's a normal canvas. Uh, and this one here is a um, wooden one. So I'm going to see how it comes off here. Uh, find the beginning of it. You see how it it doesn't pull away because of the um, I haven't heated it up yet. So that it, when I um, uh, grabbed the tape and pulled it up, it just stopped right here where the resin is. So let's see how it works now. There we go. Nice edge to it. The front is nice and glossy. Looks good. Looks really good. I also did another one too that I didn't show on camera that I res that um, when I resined it. <clears throat> but the problem with this one is um, I didn't have enough resin on the for the edges and it was getting thick, so I had a hard time getting the tape off. So all I have to do is warm it up again, and as you can see, there's a little tiny bit of tape stuck underneath some of the edges. Uh, I think this one here, this one's, this one has a little bit. So all I have to do is warm it up and then just um, take it out, take it, you know, scrape it along like this with the uh, an X-Acto knife and it should be all, all good. This one's pretty. Okay. I also did some coasters too. Um, I have four of them here. They all turned out really nice. I'll show you. Um, I'll take the tape off one of them for you. Okay, so I've got tape on the back. Um, you can either leave the tape on that you used when you painted the uh, t tile or, uh, like I did, I just took it off and then I put some new stuff on. Um, I think you could do it either way. I just think this way there's no mistake on um, ripping any of the paint off. If I do, I can fix it before I resin it. All right, so I'm gonna take the tape off this one here. There you go. 